In this Venture Pro video, we're going to be going over a few of the menus on the Venture Pro. The first one is the current status. To get to the current status, on the menu keypad here, you have a button that says current status. Simply push that, and now you are going to be listed all the current environment conditions displayed by the Ventra. The first one you see is the average actual temperature. This is going to be an average of any and all temp sensors that are programmed into the Ventra, and that's the average of those temp sensors. In this case, the Barnes 64.7. As you arrow down, you have the average actual and effective temperature displayed. Now in this case, it's the same temperature, 64.7, as what it was up here, so that tells me that I'm only looking at average actual temperature. I am not looking at effective temperature at this time. Now, the Ventra does have an option if you have wind speed sensors as well as temperature sensors that you can put an effective temp which would take into account the wind chill in the barn plus what the temperature is and it will give you a, a reading of that. <clears throat> to set that, you would go over to the control settings and arrow down under temp control and here you have your actual and effective where the star is next to the actual that means I'm only looking at actual I am not using effective at all arrow down again and here you have your individual temperature sensors listed as you can see the number one so that tells us that our first sensor is here second third and fourth now the temp the Ventra can have many temp sensors on the control and in this case I only have four so when you arrow down you do not see another row but if you had more when you arrow down again it would show a number five and then you would see five six seven eight so on and so forth down we see our outside temperature sensor since we do have one installed on this controller arrow down again and now we have our average airspeed now this again is if you have one of the temp sensors plus wind speed sensors that we do offer for the Ventra Pro here it would show you a miles per hour of wind speed in this case none of the four sensors we are using have have an airspeed sensor on them so they are showing as off Next, we have our relative humidity. Now, the Ventra can have up to three humidity sensors per zone, and it will average those to get the reading that it uses for any of the devices that are using or looking at humidity in the Ventra. In this case, I have two wired, and as you can see, they're two, two apart, so it shows you the average of what those temperature sensors are. But you can have, again, up to three humidity sensors per zone uh, on the Ventra. Down again, now we have our ventilation mode will be displayed. You know, it'll say natural temp, which is the same as power, or if you're in true natural ventilation, it'll just say natural temp like it does now. Or if you have a tunnel ventilated barn, and if your barn is warm enough, if it's in tunnel mode, then it'll say tunnel temp. So it's just telling you what ventilation mode the, the Ventra is currently in at this time. And now we're back around to the to the average actual temp. So we have went through all the current environment conditions on that on this unit. Now from this screen, if we menu arrow to the right once, here's where we come to the control equipment status. This is a very useful menu on the Ventra because it will tell you the state that each device is currently in or that the controller thinks it's in. In this case, it shows the furnace group number one is on which means the toggle switch is in the auto position and the controller is calling for it based off of the temperature in the barn. For instance, we continue on down. Here's your sidewall fan group. It is off, which means it's in the, the switch is in the auto position, but it is actually turned off. The controller is not calling for it based off of temperature. Now, as we go down again, here we have a variable pit fan group. The controller says on, but you see the SW off in parentheses. 
This means that the controller, based off of the temperature and the settings on the controller, the fan should be in the on position. But the SW off is telling you that the switch is actually turned off. So the toggle switch is not in auto, but it is in the off position. Now, if I flip it to the on position, you now see that you get your reading of what the pit fan is actually running at of its variable speed. So it's right now it's on 35 of 60 for its variable output. And again, Mr. Group is off. Now you see your side curtain group. Mine is showing zero, so the controller says that the curtain is completely closed. This is a very useful tool right here in natural ventilated barns because you can easily get those curtains out of position if somebody is manually moving the curtain. And this way you can compare where the controller thinks the curtains are at versus where they actually are in the barn. Because remember on the Ventra, if somebody manually moves the curtains with the toggle switch, the controller does not see that movement. So to be able to make sure the curtains stay in sync or stay in calibration, you want to always look here and see where the controller says your curtain is and compare to where the curtain actually is in the barn on the on how much is it open or closed. Here again, your ceiling inlets, same way. It's showing they're 0.6 inches open. You can compare that with how they look in the barn. On down to our feeder group. And now we have another useful tool here is the 24 hour water used. Now this is the number one water meter and you see zeros here, but this stands for a, a day, the last three days. So you have the, the 24 hour water usage, the 48 hour water usage, the 72 hour water usage. And it'll show that on, for each water meter. If you have multiple water meters, simply hit the plus button and it would take you to number two or number three or so on to, to be able to look at those water usages also. Now here we have the total water, total gallons used, and this is gonna be tracking from the time the water meter was installed if it never gets reset. Now some people like to reset this at the end of each grow so that they see what their total gallons is for that entire grow. Now is there's a, if there's a number here, all you have to do is simply push the, the, the menu, the menu left button, Those water gallons can be cleared and go back to zero. If you have a number in there, all you have to do is hit enter and then hit the left menu arrow button and that will clear it and put it all back to zeros. So you can clear that at the end of each grow if you prefer to do that. And then we're back around to the to the beginning of our, of our group, but that will show you the current equipment status of every device that is programmed into the controller. That is your controller equipment status and current status menu options on this Venture Pro.